This is my Kawasaki 140L starter motor. Uh, it's starting to fail on me. Lots of times it would start and then not start. And I never know if I get the bike started or not. I finally determined the brushes were worn and needed to be replaced. But I don't have any yet, so I'm going to open it up and stretch the springs out a little bit. And reinstall it and put it back together. The real trick here is how to get the springs and brushes back in there. So, here's the trick. This is my Kawasaki 140L starter motor. I need to open it up and see what's going on in there. And when I did, I couldn't get the brushes and the springs back in. So, I found a neat trick on the internet where a guy used little blocks of wood, and I decided to use these alligator clips. Check it out. Brushes and springs back in the starter motor. The easy way. Here's my method of reinstalling the brushes and springs on these uh, motorcycle starter motors. I used alligator clips. The idea is to put the spring in the uh, carbon piece in there, the brush, and use the clip around the plastic and the brush to hold the uh, brush in. Uh, works pretty good. The uh, guy I saw, I should give him credit, but he used uh, some little wooden pieces in there. But I was impatient, so I found a couple alligator, alligator clips and used them instead. So basically, the alligator clips clip on to where the wire is and hold the, uh, the brush in to the holder and the spring. So now I can insert the piece, the uh, stator or whatever, the motor part. It's over there in the background. I only have two hands, so I've got to stop. It's right in. The alligator clips are not in the way. Now all you have to do is go in there and unhook the alligator clips, and you're in. Very simple and easy. Here's another view of the alligator clips holding the starter uh, brushes and springs in. This is a very simple trick to a very complicated problem. It makes it super easy.